So to update a profile, we have some to do's here. It will uh, these APIs will be used for uh, a social application. Uh, we have an ID of social app, so for that we have to uh, we must have a, a user photo. So we have to add photo and about fields inside the user's uh, migration. So in the next one we have to uh, config our file system uh, for the local and uh, the second one is to link a storage okay so for that uh, let's go to our migration and here inside the user table we have to add after email two more fields one will be photo and the second will second one will be about this should not be unique but it should be nullable and this one also should be nullable okay next uh, we have to go to our config and then file system and in here this need to be uh, app slash public and one more thing inside uh, public folder we don't have any storage folder and this storage folder here uh, we have a public folder okay so once we run a command which is php artisan storage link it will create a link for us which is uh, inside this okay so now here we have a sim link and it will contain um, a kind of shortcut to the to the storage public folder. Next we have to uh, migrate which we are to send migrate and let's say fresh. Okay, so we did this one also this one and also this one. Next is to uh, store a user from a request user of name. Uh, okay, so we also need to have the validation here. So uh, inside register, we have used some validation, uh, something like this before this. So email we don't want to uh, update, so we don't need to validate this also the password because we already did the uh, change password. So the name we have to validate and also, yeah, only the name is required here, okay? Uh, the user name equal to dollar request stop name and dollar user up about equal to dollar request of about and next we have to check if dollar request has has file and the file photo then we have to validate so let's do this after this one now we have to validate the file also so the file should be don't need a required because it's already inside the request so uh, don't need a string we have to check for image it must be an image of type jpg and png jpg J gif and so on okay so and mix up uh, we don't need max here but we need to yeah so it should be 5120 uh, which is 5 MB so the the file must be uh, image and JPG PNG and JPG and maximum uh, size of uh, 5 MB okay let's do this here and also store old photo equal to dollar user uh, photo so uh, 
now uh, if we have the user uh, sorry uh, if we have the photo now and also it's already validated then time to store this photo so we will use uh, dollar request a file which is photo and store inside a folder let's name this folder profile and yes and dollar user up photo equal to dollar path okay and then name about and after this we have to store app dollar photo sorry app dollar user up save response back is json app dollar user because we have to send the updated user and 200 don't need of this if there is some error then the same message but we have to delete the photo okay the old photo we have already in the database uh, sorry in the folder so for that we have to check if old photo not equal to dollar user of photo mean both are different then we have to use the storage uh, storage to delete the file just one file which will be dollar old photo so the storage we have to search for this so you can read about it here for now I just need to copy this and use it here so it will delete the old file okay yes it's done so to test it let's move to our postman inside the headers we have to send our token so authorization and then here then the value will be this one and the body will be a type of now this time we have to use form data because we have file also so the name will be let's use a, a new name and it will be of a type of file and now select any file i have let me select anything let's say this one about which can be uh, lorem epsom text or lorem epsom and dummy text or something like that as we have deleted all the data from the database if you see here we have nothing no user here so first of all we have to register again with the same data so we are registered and now we have to log in also okay I use the password this okay and now we have this token to use and this we can use inside profile also so we will get the profile that's fine and now change password don't need this but we can just update for the future yeah here we need to have so let's store the given data was invalid the name must be an image oh so we have made some problem here let's 
see the name okay so here we have to use the photo okay and try again okay it's done the profile photo is stored here and we can we can check our database also here yeah, we have all and now inside the folder if we see we have a photo which is this one now uh, let's update the profile again to test like this photo is deleting or not so for that we will delete this and select another file let's say this one and try again yeah the photo is now changed we see here the old photo is deleted and the new one is here and we have done the update profile method also now we have to uh, work on the logout so let's do this in the next tutorial